Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the January Fright Crate. And yes, they are kind of behind, but you know, US Postal issues and the people supplying some of their stuff having US Postal issues, it becomes a thing we need to understand at this time. Eventually this stuff will get cleared up most likely. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at the quote here. By Stephen King, it says, books are a uniquely portable magic. That is pretty accurate in my opinion. Um, they definitely can be. I don't read as much as I probably should, but I actually am going to be reading, coincidentally, uh, Salem's Lot is my next book that I'm going to start reading. So that's going to take me a while. I'm not a super fast reader, but eventually I'll get it done. Uh, I remember that, I, only re I think I only remember one of the movies that there's supposed to be an item for in this box, uh, but it's one that I'm pretty excited about. I won't say it at the moment. So it can be a bit of a surprise when I pull whatever item out. Um, and yeah, as usual, I'm very excited for it because they always do good boxes. So let's hop into the January Fright Crate. Oh, and I already have purchased my February and my March Fright Crates. So you can come back to my channel for those unboxings. That. I'll start with the shirt. Why not? Yes. <clears throat> this is This is the one I knew. Uh, or the, the movie that I knew there'd be something from. I didn't know that it would be the t-shirt, but I love this. I haven't really looked at it yet, but, oh, yes. Listen, I fell in love with Tremors, all, like, the whole Tremors franchise, pretty much. Even the sci-fi TV show that has really bad CGI in it. Um, there's so much heart to this series. It's so fun. Uh, and as long as Burt Gummer's involved, which he has been for the whole thing, it's magical. Um, that's a great shirt. I love that. If you're a Tremors fan, like I am, that is awesome. I already have a Tremors shirt that I got from Fright, uh, Fright Rags. And this will be a great one to add to the Tremors shirt collection. Very excited about that. That's killer. Um, honestly, if I don't like anything else in this box, I'm good. That's all I needed right there was that shirt. Because having two Tremors shirts... <laughs> okay, I don't really much have a use for beer koozies, but what's on this beer koozie I think is pretty good. The beer, you opened it, we came. Obviously a reference to Hellraiser, especially because it has the Lament configuration. That's pretty funny. I, <laughs> I'll give them that. I don't usually like things like this, but I can agree that it was well done. So there you go. I don't really have a use for koozies. I just don't use them. It's just not my thing. All right. So, it seems there's, like, a small resin piece magnet in here. Ooh, okay. This is looking cool. I put these on the side of my beer fridge, by the way, which is over there. Oh, okay. So, this is from Jason Goes to Hell. Boom. The Jason mask, the silver Jason mask with the, like, I think that's supposed to be, like, a Freddy Krueger snake, basically. Um, yeah. So, that's the back of it. It's just one big magnet. Um... Usually with their magnets, they're very simplistic. They don't get super detailed. They save that level of paint job and sculpting for the uh, the larger pieces, which there's one in there. But yeah, this one's got some real paint gaffes. Like this up here, kind of messed up up there. But, you know, it's not too bad. It does have a, a nice kind of like shine to it, though, I will say, which is pretty cool. But I'm down with this. I like it. Like I said, I'm going to put it on the side of my beer fridge. Next is the pin. And their pins are always really good. Okay. So, is this really horror, I wonder? I mean, I guess it's, like, got horror elements. But uh, Legend, the film Legend, it's been a long time. But, yes, I've seen Legend. And it's the devil from Legend, played by Tim Curry, who did an excellent job with it, honestly. And this is also reminding me of that new commercial for... I don't even remember what it is. But it's, like, the devil and 2020 got get together through some dating app i thought that was funny was that geico maybe i don't know but check it out it looks great as usual their pins always look great yeah i like that yeah uh and then the last thing is the resin the big resin piece and then i've got the little card explaining everything which i'll pull that out because that's kind of stuck in there and the resin pieces are pretty much always awesome whenever i find issues with them they're usually pretty minor Ooh, okay. Now I remember the... Ooh, okay. This is... Yeah. I know some people were really going to dig on this. And 
I need to dive into this series because I'd seen like one or two of them here or there, but I haven't seen the whole thing and I feel like I really do need to. And it's been on my list, so I will. But this is uh, from Tales from the Crypt. The Crypt Keeper looks, yeah, looks good. Looks like the Crypt Keeper. Sorry for the, I'll kind of block it so it's not so shiny on top of the head. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I mean, there's it's good. I mean, there's even detail in the back. Like, you don't even really need that much detail in the back because normally someone's going to display it so you're not seeing that. But the fact that they put that detail in the back is pretty cool, in my opinion. And then it's just on a black stand. Um, yeah, good detail. Good paint job on this one. I don't really see any, like, real mess-ups on the paint either. For the most part, yeah, pretty solid. Yeah, I'm happy with that. This is a big piece, though. Like, look at it in my hand. That's pretty large. Usually their pieces are smaller than this, um, maybe about half the size sometimes. Like, some of the bigger ones, one of my favorites is the Djinn. The, uh, some people say it, the Djinn. But the Djinn from, uh, or Genie, as they're also known, from Wishmaster. I think that's one of my all-time favorites. And it's also large like this, so... Yeah, nice. Okay, so overall, real nice box. Let's recap this with their little card here. Exclusive Crypt Keeper Bust. There's going to be some scary tales to tell. This 4-inch bust is brought to you by Serial Resin Co. Exclusive only to Fright Crate. Always is. Exclusive Tremors Attack Shirt. Creatures attack from beneath with this exclusive shirt designed by our favorite collaborator, Max Cave. He is also one of my favorite collaborators because his shirts are always awesome. He has great designs. And I, you know, I love the resin pieces. I think they're really well done. But my favorite thing about the box is the shirt. So Max Cave is the band. He's my fave. Uh, exclusive Jason Goes to Hell Magnet. Another amazing serial resin co piece. Jason returns in this hellish rendition of the movie poster. He, indeed. Exclusive Lord of Darkness pin from one of our favorite fantasy horror flicks. This pin is two inches wide, double post, soft enamel. And exclusive Hellraiser koozie. This high-quality koozie is perfect for any canned beverages based on one of the quotes from the film. It is. So, yeah, as usual, good box. You know, I said after the shirt that that's all I needed and it's great, but there was still other good stuff in here. I don't think there's anything in here that I'm like, oh, I don't like that. You know, I said I don't really like the koozie from the standpoint of I won't use it. I don't really have a need for it, but it's well done. You know, if I was going to get a koozie like that, yeah, I mean, it's cool. So, yeah, great box, and uh, I can't remember any of the ones coming for February or March, but I remember thinking there were some good ones for both of those, so we'll just see. Anyway, thanks for checking this out. Uh, go ahead and put the comments down here. Do you get Fright Crate? Uh, what do you think of it in general? What have been some of your favorite items overall you've ever gotten out of Fright Crate? And also, what are some things you'd really like to see them do in Fright Crate? You know, specific shirts, specific busts things like that, um, and also let's just talk nerdy horror stuff in the comments, let's, let's do that, I'm always down for that, but do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button, if you like this video or any video I've ever done, that is your way to repay me, and I do appreciate it big time, I really, really do, because uh, I'm just trying to grow this nerdy horror community here. Uh, also hit the notification bell button, because then you'll know whenever I'm putting up a new video, uh, whether it be an unboxing or a movie review, which I have tons of movie reviews on my channel, so go check that out. Uh, and yeah, that's it. But regardless, I do thank you for taking the time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.